Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. And we're going to talk about the subject of electrical forensics and that is radio frequency transmitting utility meters. And I live in Tucson, Arizona and much to my surprise I discovered that I actually have a radio frequency transmitting electric meter and a radio frequency transmitting gas meter. And when the gas meter was changed out from the iTron 40 to the iTron 100G, I actually became quite sick. And I extensively started to research the reasons why that occurred. And I actually discovered that there's something far more toxic than what's in these pictures. And that is the actual meter reader itself. And certainly in Tucson, Arizona, there are cars driving around residential neighborhoods with high-powered transmitter systems on their roofs and they're filling the sidewalks, people's gardens and people's homes with high-powered radio frequency radiation every time they read these meters. And I inadvertently came across that car several months ago and I had a very close exposure to that car, probably several feet away from the antenna system that was installed on the car. And that was followed by several days of quite severe sickness. And it was so severe that I actually couldn't get out of bed for one of those days. I just had to stay in bed, I was so sick. So I got curious as to what is coming off the antenna system that is mounted to the roof of these mobile meter reading cars. And we're gonna take a look at that. So the first video that we're going to see is what the meter was reading when the car was not around. And then we're gonna follow it up with videos of the car taking the meter reading and what it did to the radio frequency power levels in my home. So let's take a look. So as you could see, the radio frequency levels in my neighborhood are typically around the 100 millivolts per meter range. But that greatly changes when the radio frequency transmitting car comes through and reads these radio frequency transmitting meters. So let's take a look at that. So as you can see, a radio frequency transmitting car passed through the neighborhood. But the interesting thing is, another radio frequency transmitting car passed through the neighborhood a few hours later. And I was not expecting to see two of these cars and the second car actually stops for a few minutes and reads the meters that needed to be manually read. So let's take a look at that. So as you can see, the radio frequency levels drop back down to normal levels after the car left the area. And I videoed the street with the radio frequency meter for three days and I didn't see a spike in radio frequency levels other than when the iTron utility meter reading cars came through the neighborhood. So that's somewhat concerning that the utility companies around the world are now switching over to these radio frequency meters. And what I find more concerning is that they're actually 
driving these radio frequency transmitting cars through neighborhoods that contain pregnant ladies, babies, children, and electrically sensitive individuals who are just trying to live a normal life in their homes, which generally represents the greatest financial investment. And if you want to find out more on this subject, you can read about it in Electrical Forensics. I wish you the very best of health and I hope you enjoyed the video.